Hey guys, this is Einar. I hope you're doing great today and welcome to this theoretical tutorial about standardizing variance using the standard deviation. Uh, now this isn't going to be an important tutorial uh, because we're going to use this standardizing variance uh, formula a lot in our uh, future tutorials about uh, correlation and uh, about hypothesis testing. So this is something you should at least have a basic understanding of. So we're going to get right to it. Okay, so we, we have two different variables. Um, and these are the same observations. So this is person number one, and this person has an age, and this person has an income. Same thing goes for this person has an age, and this person has an income. And then we move on through our data set, and we can see that the, the, the observations we have have different ages and different incomes. But there are these people, these dots here, are the same person, so to speak. And uh, our material here for ages has an average uh, or a mean of 39 years and it has an income uh, average and mean of 25,143 kroner which is the currency we have over here in Sweden. Now because we want, we're interested in the variation, we're interested in the variance because that's what we want to standardize. Um, variance is very important in statistics. It's what we're going to be using to correlate, to see if things are uh, seem to have an effect on each other. We're going to use it to test hypotheses and see how well um, our samples are working in comparison to our population. So these distances here are very important. Uh, now they are described in terms of the same scales you have here on the y-axis. So this distance, distance over here, this observation's distance to the mean is going to be 29 years in this case, which is actually described in, in years. Meanwhile, this observation's distance here, for example, uh, is going to be 9,857 kroners, which is described in the terms of the y-axis here, so that there are very different scales. Now, this isn't going to be good enough if we, if we want to use them in the same formulas. We're going to have um, results in our formulas that vary depending on what scale we have for our variables. And we don't want that because we want to be able to compare uh, different correlations for different variables at different scales because, well, society is very complicated, so we're going to have different scales to working with all the time. That's just a fact of life. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at our standard deviations to begin with. Now, our standard deviation, if you don't know what that is, you have to look at that tutorial or you will not be able to understand the rest of this course. You have to take a look and get an understanding of variance and standard, standard deviation is. But as uh, as you can see here, it's described in the same in the same terms. So it's described in the same uh, scale as these distances are. So this standard deviation will be de described in years, and it is 18 years in this case. And this standard deviation over here will be de described in terms of kroners, which is 11,810 kroners in this case. Okay. So if we want to see if these vary together in the same way, we have to describe them in the same scale. So what we do is we take a look at these distances. This distance is described in years, and this standard deviation is described in years. This distance is described in kroners, and this distance is described in kroners. So what we can do is, um, well, if, if we wanted the, to put them on the same scale, we could divide this number by a small number and this number by a very large number and they would meet in the middle, so to speak. So in order for them to be on the same scale, we would have to divide this, this scale over here by a large number. And uh, we actually have that. We have the standard deviation. Because the standard deviation is described in the same scale as this one, we can actually use this uh, in order to change our scales here. And the same thing goes for years. So let's take a look at our formula. Uh, we have Z for X and Z for Y. Now this is our standardized measure of, of the variance in our in our material. And the variance, so to speak, is the distances that these observations have to the mean. Because not, right now we're talking about variation around the mean. That's our, our mean is the measure of centrality we're using. So we take each X I minus X bar. And I, in this case, stands for each observation. You know, X, this is, would be X1, X2, X3, X4. You just replace the I with, an, with the, the index for the observations that we're moving through. Um, so we take these distances and put them on our top. And then we take the standard deviation. And as I said before, it becomes clear now. This is going to take this small number and divide it by a small number. And this is going to take this large number up here at the top and divide it by a large number. So we're going to you know, decrease them to the same scale. And if we plug in the numbers, we will see we get 29 divided by 18. This is a small number small, divided by a small number, large number divided by a small num a large number. Sorry about that. 
so what are we actually calculating here? Well, in, in a way you could say we're calculating each observation's um, share of the variation uh, depending on it's, it's, it's each observation's share of the standard deviation. So, so again, this is actually 1.61 compared to the standard deviation. So this distance is larger than the standard deviation. Meanwhile, this distance is, is smaller than the standard deviation, so it will be at 0 0.83. And the standard deviation in this case is one, so it's it's the the variation around the standard the standard deviation, so to speak, that we're measuring, and that gives us these standardized uh, numbers. And what these do is they describe the the variation uh, around our mean uh, in a way that we can compare them to each other, because we're not talking about these scales anymore. These scales have been transformed, and now we're actually talking about each observation's share as compared to the standard deviation. So why, how is this useful? Well, if we were, for example, going to compare income and health, are they correlated? Do they vary together? Do, for example, large incomes vary uh, together with uh, good health? Or does income and happiness uh, correlate? Uh, do large incomes lead to large values of happiness? Well, we can see this if we standardize the variations and then compare them. Also, we can use it to compare which is more affected by income, health or happiness. So we can even compare different correlations with each other. And that's why this standardization is so useful. And most importantly, uh, it's going to be used uh, in our hypothesis testing in the future. But this is, this, all this stuff is something we're going to talk about in future tutorials. So I, I, I hope you uh, just remember this about the, the standardizing. Uh, if you forget in the future tutorials, you can always go back to this movie and, you know, revise. And because you're going to need an understanding about what standardization is and what variation is if you want to move on. So I wish you good luck. Have some fun playing around with this and, and try drawing it up and, you know, seeing what, how the distances might change if you change the position of the observations. And I wish you good luck. And have a really great day. Bye-bye.